Now we come to data heading. If we have a class, we say your name or say uh, we make a class of an employee name and you say here, um, say your salary. Make this salary private and name as public. What you have done is you have hidden this data, salary. You don't want to show it. I am just saying that you don't want to expose it. You just don't want to show it. You are hiding it. So the mechanism of hiding data of a class from outside the world is known as data hiding. Why? Because you don't want, say, if you have very important data like your uh, password, you don't want to be, you know, this, uh, anybody messing around with this, your very secure thing. So this is done to protect the data from any accidental or unintentional or intentional access, right? So most of the object oriented programming language encapsulation is implemented through classes as we have seen. And in this class, we have public and private, uh, you can say access uh, classifier. So this private data can only be accessed out inside the class while the private or public data can be accessed from anywhere. We are making public and private, so that is how we achieve this data hiding. And this access to private members is restricted and is only available to member functions of the same class. But the public part of the object is accessible outside the class also.